Welcome into Galena Sports Live, everyone. See your Bulldogs taking the field to take on the Uniontown Eagles today. Uh, cloudy skies, overcast, not much sun today. Um, but we're just about set to play some softball here. First pitch will get underway a little bit early. And I'll get started um, with the lineups after this. The pregame show is, or the first pitch is presented by Mercy Specialty Hospital and Orthopedics in Galena, an innovative healing environment for surgery, specialty care, physical therapy, imaging, and wellness programs. Right here in Southeast Kansas, with all private rooms and spa like surroundings, learn more at mercy.net or call 620 783 1732. So we welcome Cole Grand back to the booth as he's back out here to join us for some softball action. Uh, the best color man in the business is yes, uh, going to be Welcome doing the, the camera. So um, for Uniontown, their leadoff hitter will be um, shortstop number eight, Gorman. First baseman number seven, Shepard. Catcher number 11, Stock. Pitcher number five, Hall. Center fielder number 23, Schultz. Third baseman, number 20, Powell, left field. What? You're good. You're good. Left fielder, number 22, Herring. Right fielder, number one, Reed. And second baseman, number 10, Schoenberger. As we're underway here from Galena. Swinging at the second pitch to even the count at 1-1. One, one. Galena will have Michaela Matthews on the mound start this game and Haley Hayes behind the dish for second pitch swinging coming on to make the play is Riley Meyer over at first base and then for the infield for Galena they got Arista Sturgis playing second base Morgan Strong playing shortstop and third base is um, Jordan Bo Bochamp who she's being flexed for she won't be hitting but she's just playing third base swinging at this pitch first pitch swinging as Myers able to record the second out as well in foul territory to retire the second batter to come to the plate this inning in Shepard stock takes a Thorough warm-up swing and steps into the box. First pitch way high. Stock watches ball one. Digs into the box, waggles the bat. The pitch on the way. Swung on, line drive in the left field and caught in left field. Peyton Webster got a good read on it to record the third out. Bulldogs. Retire them one, two, three. They'll be up to bat when we return on Galena Sports Live. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to embark on a mouth-watering journey down the legendary Route 66? Look no further than Bricks and Brews, Woodfire Grill and Pub in the heart of Baxter Springs, Kansas. Start your culinary adventure with their delicious wood-fired pizzas. Keep it rolling with their classic appetizers and crisp salads. Plus, don't miss live music and so much more. Take a detour from the ordinary and head to Bricks and Brews in Baxter Springs. A taste bud trip down Route 66. Looking for a pharmacy that truly cares? Look no further than Four States Pharmacy, your hometown pharmacy in Galena, locally owned and rooted in our community. Four States Pharmacy is the place to go for those needed vaccinations. Plus, check out their large selection of everything you need to keep your family happy and healthy. Take advantage of their convenient drive through or local delivery with Four States Smart Car. For seniors, Four States Pharmacy offers free Medicare Part D consultations. Four State Pharmacy, where your health and community come together in Galena. Check us out online at fourstatespharmacy.com. Welcome back into the home half of the first inning. Galena will bring up to the plate 
Haley Hayes, Riley Meyer, Arista Sturgis in that order. Their lineup. And then in the cleanup spot will be Wesson Russell, who's the designated um, flex, and she'll hit in place of Jordan Bochamp. Riley Boys will bat fifth. Michaela Matthews will bat sixth. Marley Shoemaker batting in the seven hole. Peyton Webster batting in the eight hole. And Morgan Strong rounding it out, batting in the nine hole, playing shortstop. It's Hayes watches first pitch for ball one. Bit high. Second one low. Third time's got to be the charm, right, Cole? You had me muted, but, uh, yep, just zeroing in here. That one called low. Hayes way ahead in the count, 3-0. See if she's giving the green light. Nope, take, taking the whole way. Called strike one. Gets Hall back in the count. Called strike two there. Got a full count. Hall's worked herself back into the count and trying to avoid a leadoff walk. Swing and a miss for out number one of the inning. Haley Hayes strikes out. Hall fights back from being down 3 0 in the count and gets a strikeout. Bring Riley Meyer up to the plate. Swinging it, first pitch, a little bit high. Kalina aggressive at the plate. Second pitch, swinging, same location almost. Now you got to choke up and win pitches with two strikes to advance that bat and can't do so there. So two strikeouts by Galena to... Start the game as Hayes and Meyer retired. That'll bring Rista Sturgis to the plate. Called strike one outside corner. Swinging at the second pitch, and it's off the right fielder's glove. Really hard hit, and the right fielder couldn't make the play, so Galena gets a runner aboard with two outs in the bottom of the first. Called strike one. Hall's been pretty efficient staying in the strike zone since that those first three pitches of the game, that one's a little bit high to even the count at 1-1. One, one. Probably put outs on this scoreboard. There we go. Low and out for ball two. Wesson Russell at the plate. Called strike on the inside corner. Counts even at 2-2. Oh, we lost our camera here. One second, folks. And that'll be a full count now. While Cole tries to fix the camera. Russell steps into the box. The pitch on the way. Swung at. Swinging bunt. Back to the pitcher. Throw at first is in time to record the third out of the inning. Galena leaves one stranded on the bases. We head to the top of the first or second inning, scoreless. Looking for a pharmacy that truly cares? Look no further than Four States Pharmacy, your hometown pharmacy in Galena, locally owned and rooted in our community. Four States Pharmacy is the place to go for those needed vaccinations. Plus, check out their large selection of everything you need to keep your family happy and healthy. Take advantage of their convenient drive-through or local delivery with Four States Smart Car. 
for seniors, Four States Pharmacy offers free Medicare Part D consultations. Four State Pharmacy, where your health and community come together in Galena. Check us out online at fourstatespharmacy.com. So welcome back here as we begin the second inning with the pitcher for the Eagles. Hall steps into the box, pitching and batting cleanup. Pitch low and away. Falls behind in the count 2-0. Swinging straight up center field coming on to make the play. And out there in center field is Riley Boyce able to record the out for out number one. Kind of a tough sky to read the ball in. Especially over there for that baseball game. The ball just blends in with the sky. Your Galena baseball team's taking on Uniontown right up the hill from us. You can see in the background we'll try and keep a get some score updates to it. That pitch is high. A little bit of off speed. It's left high and it'll be a 3 1 count. Matthews issues a walk with one out to Schultz. So Schultz is aboard and that'll bring. Third baseman Powell to the plate. First pitch swinging foul ball. That one high and... Keeping the runner honest at first. That one in there for called strike two. One, two count. Low, good spot for one, two count. Really good take by... Powell so counts even at 2-2 pitch swung on and miss runner going and cut off by Matthews but out number two is recorded Schultz got a really good jump from first base even if it was a good throw I think she still would have been safe at second Cole yeah she got a good lead off there and was able to take that ba base with ease they got a runner in scoring position now is swinging and that's drifting foul it's got uh herring at the plate the left fielder for union town today we'll have a second game after this game as well so make sure you stick around the conclusion of this one. Swing and a miss. One, two, the count. Two outs. Swinging, driven to center field, and the ball is going to get down. One run will score as 
Herring rounds first and successfully gets to second base. Stand up double for Herring. And she'll be credited with an RBI. So that'll bring Reed to the plate. Reed's first at bat tonight. Runner in scoring position called strike inside corner of the plate. 0 2 count. Matthews trying to avoid any more danger. Swing and a miss. And that'll end the inning. The damage is done. Uniontown scores one here in the top of the second inning. When we return, the Bulldogs will bring up boys Matthew Shoemaker in that order when we return. Hello, Four States. This is Jay Hatfield with Jay Hatfield Motorsports. We have been serving the Four States area with motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides, plus offering you parts and service since 2005. We have two convenient locations, Pittsburgh and Joplin, selling quality brands such as Polaris, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Can-Am, and Suzuki. Jay Hatfield has a huge inventory available for immediate delivery. We offer financing options and an extensive selection of accessories. Most important, we're making deals. Come in and get your phone started today at Jay Hatfield Motorsports in Pittsburgh or Joplin. Welcome back as Riley Boyce will lead off the home half of the second inning for Galena. Uniontown got a run uh, in the away half of the second inning on a double by Herring that scored Schultz. Boyce swinging at the second pitch. 1-1 one, one count. That one coming for our heads, Cole. Watch yeah, I got a little worried there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I flinched. 2-1 count. That one low. Hitters count now. Riley Boyce got to see something she really likes and drive it. Nice gap up the middle of that infield. Shortstop at second base or each shifted pretty far towards the first and third base line. Wind blowing out to right field. Swing and a miss. Struck her out as Hall battles back in that count from 3-1 to force a strikeout. And out number one is recorded there. Brings Michaela Matthews, the pitcher for Galena, to the plate. Swung at, and fair ball snuck under the first baseman, Shepard's glove. She made a diving attempt for it, and it bounced just inside that first base, the first base base. So it's real good for Galena here. They need to get some points on the board. I mean, it's only second inning, but. Hopefully try and get a runner in scoring position here with one out and get a base hit and try and get her home. Shoemaker is swinging at the first pitch. Peyton Webster in on deck circle for Galena. Puts down a butt. Beautiful butt, too. The throw is in time. She's out, but that was a perfect bunt right there down the third baseline. Caught him off guard and... Took a perfect throw to get her out. So that'll be a sack bunt. Let's 
Peyton Webster will step into the box with two outs, runner in scoring position. That's Matthew standing on second base. Swing and fouled back off the light pole onto the football field. O2 count. Webster behind in the count. Delivery by Hall is low. Pass ball. Good read by Matthews. Able to get to third base and will score for sure on a any kind of single. Webster swings at it on the ground over to second base. Throw and out at first base is Webster. So that ends the inning. Bulldogs leave one stranded, and they still trail 1-0 headed to the top of the third inning when we return. Mercy Specialty Hospital in Southeast Kansas is an innovative healing environment for surgery, specialty care, physical therapy, imaging, and wellness programs. With all private rooms and spa-like surroundings, they offer a patient-centered experience like no other. Next door is Mercy Clinic Orthopedics that focuses on eliminating the discomfort caused by injuries and disorders of the bones, spine, and joints. You'll be treated at their... Welcome back to the third inning. First pitch swing and tomahawk swing. Chop the tree down. Swinging at it again. 0 2 count. This is uh, Reed at the plate. Or, sorry, Schoenberger at the plate. That one on the ground. So Schoenberger, the second baseman, recorded the last out. Last inning swing. Strikes her out. And that is the first strikeout of the game for Michaela Matthews. It'll turn the lineup over back to Gorman, the top of the lineup. She flew out to first base in her first at bat. That one high. Taking around to eye level. Same spot. 2 0. -oh, Matthews falls behind. This wind's starting to pick up. I can hear it in my headset more and more. I'm not sure if the headset's amplifying it or what, but it, it doesn't feel as windy as it sounds, but you can see from the flag it is. Oh, yeah, more, lady towards the right. More wind noise than crowd noise than we've had all year. If it is even picking up on the stream. So there is a four pitch walk. For Kayla Matthews after striking out the leadoff batter issues. A walk to Gorman. And that'll bring up the first baseman Shepard. Who also flew out to first base at her, her last at bat. Bunt put down. Beautiful bunt. Matthews throw is in time. Running all the way to third. That was really good base running. So that's a second sack bunt we've seen. And now that'll bring up Stock who lined out to 
left fielder first at bat, but getting first to third there, Gorbin showed her speed, and Galena didn't have anybody on third taking advantage of it. And it was a beautiful bunt and did the purpose. It's, well, Shepard did, did her job on that. Yeah, she did. She got Union Town to scoring position here. Could bring it up to two outs. They just need a single here, and she's more so likely gonna run it in. Matt Matthews has shown some command issues at times. She's missed high quite a bit, and then she'll miss low, which it's better than just missing high every time. It means you're making some kind of change in your motion. But there's a a four pitch walk. Coach Meyer is going to come out and have a visit on the mound now. Yeah, you got to wonder. I mean, I wonder what their depth is looking like for pitchers with it being a doubleheader. I don't know how many pitchers this Galena girls softball team, we haven't really seen them much this year, but how many pitchers they have. Or Well, after last year we saw Strong. She did most of the pitching. Kayla Matthews comes in this year, freshman. Saw her during basketball season. Uh, certainly a good addition. Is this softball team is also very young, much like the basketball team was, and yeah, you're right. Uh, you don't know how many pitchers you have, but also, um, like in baseball, the pitching rules, how they apply. If you throw so many pitches, you have to wait X amount of days before you can pitch again. For softball, it's a little bit different, um, so they don't have to have those delays. We could see Matthews leave this game and then come back and start game two later tonight. Oh, so they don't they don't have the um... – Nope. I didn't know that about softball. Right, and – they just say it's less stress on the arm on the arm than throwing overhand and things like that. Swing and a miss. Kayla Matthews strikes strikes out Hall to end the inning. Uniontown leaves two runners stranded. The score will stay at 1-0, headed to the bottom of the third when we return. vision of becoming the four state agency was because we want to be able to grow with our clients whether they have a lake house in oklahoma whether they're starting a business and expanding into arkansas we want to make sure that they're taken care of whether it's home auto financial services or even life insurance we want to walk through the stages of life with our clients that's the biggest part that's what makes us different Hello, Four States. This is Jay Hatfield with Jay Hatfield Motorsports. We have been serving the Four States area with motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides, plus offering you parts and service since 2005. We have two convenient locations, Pittsburgh and Joplin, selling quality brands such as Polaris, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Can-Am, and Suzuki. Jay Hatfield has a huge inventory available for immediate delivery. We offer financing options and an extensive selection of accessories. Most important, we're making deals. Can Sorry, we had to cut the ad short. Got back to action quicker than we expected. Morgan Strong step up to the plate, and the lineup will turn over back to the top to Hayes and Meyer. Strong playing shortstop today. Haven't had much action over there on the left side of the infield. Been a lot of pop-ups today. One one count. Delivery by Hall. Swung on and missed. Strong was late on the fastball, right over the heart of the plate. 
Now we'll have to battle with two strikes. That swung on and hit foul. Early on that one. Not very good at telling the pitch is a softball, but looked a little bit like a changeup. That one swung on, popped straight up, and it'll get out of play. Hey, or strong, stand alive. Count still at one, two. Good eye there. Taken outside. Lined up delivery, swung on, fouled straight back. This is what you call a quality at bat, Cole. Yep, staying in there, staying alive, not swinging on the ones that are. Yep. Leaving the bad ones and fouling the good ones, spoiling the pitch you don't want away and just waiting for the pitch you want. And there, worked it to a full count. Especially when you're at a 2 2 1 2, you just want to swing. Anything close, you don't want to just. No swing strikeout. That's the one thing coaches hate is looking strikeouts. Want to put something in play, put pressure on the defense, and you can limit the strikeouts. It's always a good thing because you're putting pressure on the defense, making them have to make a play, and they're strong fouled, but fouled away three or four pitches, staying in the count and forces a walk. Hayes turns the butt, popped up in the air, and it'll be caught in foul territory. That's another thing coaches hates when you bunt and pop it up because that, that can get some runners in trouble if they have a hitting or a, kind of a, a sacrifice bunt, I guess. And they're expecting to run, taking the runner stealing. Off. Yeah, if Strong was stealing there, trying to go first to third on the bunt, and it gets popped up, then it's trouble and you're two outs real quick. Got one out. Bulldogs haven't attempted a stolen base today. This one swung on, popped up in foul territory. Third baseman comes in and makes the play. That's Powell. Courted both outs this inning. So now, Rista Sturgis. Step into the box from the right side. Fouled away. Strong was running. Strong having some trouble here getting into that second base. Hauled strike two. It's a good running count. For Strong over there on first base. Strong will run. It's lined right to the shortstop who will record the third out of the inning. Bulldogs go down one, two, three after the leadoff walk. Strong stranded on first base. We head to the top of the fourth 1 0 Uniontown when we return. For more than 20 years, Gherkin Rental has been the place to go to get the job done in eastern Kansas and western Missouri. With a huge selection of quality equipment, from roll-offs to trailers, telehandlers to generators, power washers to popcorn makers, experienced equipment professionals, and clean, well-maintained tools to help you get the job done right the first time. Gherkin Rental. Stop by any of their 13 locations across the KC Metro or call 855-GHERKINS. That's 855-437-5367.
Looking for a pharmacy that truly cares? Look no further than Four States Pharmacy, your hometown pharmacy in Galena, locally owned and rooted in our community. Four States Pharmacy is the place to go for those needed vaccinations. Plus, check out their large selection of everything you need to keep your family happy and healthy. Take advantage of their convenient drive through or local delivery with Four States Smart Car. For seniors, Four States Pharmacy offers free Medicare Part D consultations. Four State Pharmacy, where your health and community come together in Galena. Check us out online at Four States Pharmacy. Welcome back. Top of the fourth inning. Nearing the halfway point in this game. It's been a pitcher's duel to this point. Matthews escaped danger last last time out on the mound, leaving runners on second and third. Let's see if the Bulldogs can get a quick inning here and get back in the dugout. Where they'll bring up their 5-6-7 lined into right center field. Shoemaker is coming in to make the play. Ball fell just in front of her for a leadoff single. So it's a second hit of the game for Uniontown. Galena. That's the bunt. Laid down, throw over to first in time to record the out. And Seen quite a bit of bunts this game, but Matthews, good job. PFP is there. Pitcher fielding practice. Coming up, fielding the ball and recording the out. That's what matters there is getting the out. That'll advance the runner to... Oh, that'll advance the runner to second. Schultz on second. <laughs> One thing that Uniontown's been doing really good this game, I feel like that's benefiting them and why they've scored their only run, I believe, is their efficient base running. Just sacrificial bunts are making sure to get on base every single time. And mm -hmm. he's just right here stealing that base when there was an error in the field. Yeah. What game the ball back to the pitcher, she just immediately took off. There was no hesitation at all. Put her head down and ran. Absolutely. I agree that. Playing heads up, running the bases, and taking advantage. Like that first to third we saw earlier. Sack bunt, nobody covering third. And I think it was Gorman that got all the way to third. And then there, could have easily just been standing on second base, looking around, saw the ball get away from pitcher on the throw back and got to third base. 2-2 two -two count. One gone. And the away half of the fourth. Pitch. Good spot. Low and in. Counts full. Something's got to give. The pitch. Hit on the ground. Over to shortstop. Strong bobbles it. Throw. A little bit late. Would have been a tough play even if she fielded it cleanly. So, Uniontown scores a run there to make it 2-0. Powell will be credited with the single. Brings Herring to the plate. Or, I'm sorry, I'm behind Reed to the plate. Called strike three on the inside corner for out number two. This is the true definition of high school softball weather, I guess. Yesterday was a beautiful day, 80 degrees out and sunny, and then today a little rainstorm comes through. Quinn's. So it's cold all weekend as well. Of course, the one weekend we were planning on going to the lake at 60 degrees. <laughs> or it's just that we're in Kansas. It's not as much as softball weather. I think if we were in Florida, this wouldn't be the same deal. 
Should have said Kansas high school softball weather. Pitch was fouled back. One, two, count. Matthews trying to limit the damage here in the fourth inning. He's pitched a gem to this point. Galena hasn't been able to get things rolling on offense this far. That's hit into right center field. Shoemaker there to make the play in right field. That'll end the inning. Uniontown scrapes one across. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Bulldogs trying to get the offense started down 2-0. After this. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to embark on a mouth-watering journey down the legendary Route 66? Look no further than Bricks and Brews Wood Fire Grill and Pub in the heart of Baxter Springs, Kansas. Start your culinary adventure with their delicious wood-fired pizzas. Keep it rolling with their classic appetizers and crisp salads. Plus, don't miss live music and so much more. Take a detour from the ordinary and head to Bricks and Brews in Baxter Springs. A taste bud trip down Route 66. So welcome back. Galeno will bring up Wesleyan Russell, Riley Boyce, Michaela Matthews this inning. Heart of the Galena order. Needing base runners and get them on, get them over, get them in. That one taken up and in. That one in there, hit on the ground, over to second, bobbled, and Wes and Russell will be on first base. Try to underhand flip it to first, but quick recovery by the first baseman. Shepard. Morgan Strong out in right field, down the right field line, warming up to pitch. That one turned to bunt. And the hall delivered it up and in. Bunt laid down back to the pitcher. Throw to first is away and down the right field line. Wesleyan Russell, there's going to be a play at home. And on the overthrow to first base, Wesleyan Russell will score. And that's the kind of base running we were just talking about that Galeana kind of needed to start, get it going, and they did. So that's really the first critical error of this game. Union Towns made the, I mean, before that, they flipped it over first base, runner didn't advance, but ball went all the way down the right field line. Russell came all the way home. Boys could have been on second. Now the umpire wants to have a word with Coach Meyer. I think it might be about warming up. Uh, Morgan Strong just I think it was probably on that last play the ball went down the right field line got so close to her warming up down there and an issue with interfering with the live ball yeah that makes sense I wonder if yeah it looks like they're making them go outside the field which is usually what I've I, I mean when I played in high school that's what we had to do we had a little Dugouts next to the field for places to warm up. Absolutely. So, Riley Boyce is aboard. No outs here. One run across. Third baseman playing well in. Turn into bunt. Popped up in the air. That third baseman's cheating pretty far in. 
Now with two strikes, probably going to see Caleb Matthews swing away. Swinging and missing. I'll be out number one. The wind's really starting to pick up here, so the third baseman cheating in isn't a terrible idea because most balls are going to. With this wind, pretty chilly wind, starting to go into play. Play at second is in time. It's tough in between read there for Riley Boys. Ball is hit on a line, just barely got over Shepard's glove over there at first base and got down, and that's it's just hard to do there. I mean, you take off and the ball gets caught, then inning over. But Do you know if it's supposed to rain, Cooper? Well, I don't think so. I think just the rain earlier this afternoon was it. But feeling little sprinkles. Just want to make sure. Yeah, well, we'll have find to keep out. an eye on the radar. That one gets under the glove. Play at third. Shoemaker would have been toast at third if she was running there. Their catcher has shown that she can throw. She can throw people out in a second. I know it doesn't really apply here, but I think that's probably why Galena's been a little Webster. hesitant on stealing for Ground ball over to second base and records the out. Bulldogs score one. Still trail 2-1, headed to the top of the fifth inning when we return. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to embark on a mouth-watering journey down the legendary Route 66? Look no further than Bricks and Brews, Woodfire Grill and Pub in the heart of Baxter Springs, Kansas. Start your culinary adventure with their delicious wood-fired pizzas. Keep it rolling with their classic appetizers and crisp salads. Plus, don't miss live music and so much more. Take a detour from the ordinary and head to Bricks and Brews in Baxter Springs. A taste bud trip down Route 66. Looking for a pharmacy that truly cares? Look no further than Four States Pharmacy, your hometown pharmacy in Galena, locally owned and rooted in our community. Four States Pharmacy is the place to go for those needed vaccinations. Plus, check out their large selection of everything you need to keep your family happy and healthy. Take advantage of their convenient drive through or local delivery with Four States Smart Car. For seniors, Four States Pharmacy offers free Medicare Part D consultations. Four State Pharmacy, where your health and community come together in Galena. Check us out online at fourstatespharmacy.com. So we're back for the top of the fifth inning. Close ball game here in a low scoring affair. First pitch swing in is Gorman in the center field. Riley Boyce makes the play. Solid contact. Kayla Matthews will come. Out for the fifth inning of work. Successfully records out number one quickly. And that'll bring first baseman Shepard to the plate. Swinging and fouled back over onto the football field. Most Seeing as the games progress, more and more players putting on sweatshirt. Ball is on the ground low. Evens count at 1 1. Swing in over to Strong. Fire across the diamond. Out number two is recorded. On Shepard. See if the Bulldogs can get a quick third out. This brings Stock to the plate. Catcher. Stock's lined out to left field and walk today.
Low and in for ball one. Things even at 1-1. One, one. Kind of dark on the camera. Swing and hit straight up in the air. Boys coming on to make the play. It's overhead. It'll drop in a shallow center field as stock will be aboard. That'll be a E8. So win. Oh, definitely a factor on that. The wind's blowing very inconsistent, inconsistently as well, so you can't really predict it. It'll slow down, then pick up, then slow down, then go really hard. Absolutely. Called strike two on the outside corner. McCat Matthews fires it in there. 0-2. Oh, Got her right where you want her. That one swung on, hit straight up in the air. This one will stay on the infield strong. Comes in, takes charge, and makes the play for out number three of the inning. Quick pace of play here, headed to the bottom of the fifth. Galena trying to get another run across when we return. Looking for a pharmacy that truly cares? Look no further than Four States Pharmacy, your hometown pharmacy in Galena, locally owned and rooted in our community. Four States Pharmacy is the place to go for those needed vaccinations. Plus, check out their large selection of everything you need to keep your family happy and healthy. Take advantage of their convenient drive through or local delivery with Four States Smart Car. For seniors, Four States Pharmacy offers free Medicare Part D consultations. Four State Pharmacy, where your health and community come together in Galena. Check us out online at fourstatespharmacy.com. Com. For more than 20 years, Gherkin Rental has been the place to go to get the job done in eastern Kansas and western Missouri. With a huge selection of quality equipment, from roll-offs to trailers, telehandlers to generators, power washers to popcorn makers, experienced equipment professionals, and clean, well-maintained tools to help you get the job done right the first time. Gherkin Rental. Stop by any of their 13 locations across the KC Metro or call 855-GHERKINS. That's 855-437-5367. So, bottom of the fifth action. Morgan Strong will lead things off for Galita. It'll be Strong, then back to the top of the lineup to Hayes and Meyer. Low ball. Two. Last at bat, Strong was really smart about taking, letting the balls go and taking the strikes that were even close. She she had a battle three two count last time she was up to bat. Looks like she's it's taking the whole way there. Hustle on down to first base and take her second walk of the game. So. That was an easy at bat. Four pitch walk issued to Strong, and now Hayes and Meyer will be up. Then the heavy hitters of the Galena order, Sturgis and Russell, to follow if Galena can extend this inning. Strong last uh, last time she got on first was having troubles getting to second, so I wonder if she's gonna try to get an early steal here or something of that nature. Hey, Galena hasn't had very many runners in scoring position tonight, as Cole mentioned, and be a great time. That ball put in play, dead ball. Catcher's interference. So catcher's interference, and Haley Hayes will be granted first first base. And runners will advance if there was nobody on. She had been granted catcher's interference, and it'd just be Hayes over on first base. Oh, so that's how that rule works. So if somebody's on first, it's just the first baseman gets to go up. Yeah, it's, it's a, 
it's a dead ball. You can only advance one base. You can't. If she put it in play and Strong ended up on third, she'd have to go back. It's dead ball. You can only advance one base. But the batter does not get to advance. It's just dead ball. Yeah, dead yeah, ball, yeah. and the batter gets first base. Well, I'm just having you explain it like we were talking about. <laughs> so, for runners at first and second for Galena, great opportunity here with the heart of their order. Riley Meyer has a strike and a fly out to third base today. Big gap in the middle of the infield. Surprised they're not. This has popped up in the air and good hustle by the catcher. Unable to. It's nervous. She's going to hit the fence there. Good hustle, but the middle infielders are playing very far off a of second base. I mean, she turns to bunts. Not a bad time to run. Shortstop would go over and cover third base, but shortstop and second are playing pretty far over. So if you hit anything up the middle of the infield, Strong should score from second. Swung on and nice play by Coach Meyer over at third. Bare hand of the ball. That couldn't have felt. Feel that one tomorrow. Yeah. 0 2 count. So you can't have strikeouts. That one hit hard. And over the center fielder's head, ball gets down. Strong will score. Hayes will end up at second. Exactly what Galena needed to get him back in this game. 2 2 now. Bottom yep. of the fifth. Yeah, that was a, a beautiful swing. One of the harder hit balls we've seen this afternoon. And Hayes was hung up at first base and probably smart just to make sure the ball got down. Those are the tough plays where you don't know with the wind how and if it's going to be caught. So usually if you're trying to advance, you'll be about halfway. The farther you see the outfielder run, the farther you get off of that base. And once it drops, then you have a potential to advance even another base. And then if you see numbers, then you could probably take off. 1-1 one, one count. Runners on first and second. Lena scratch one across this inning. Ball on the ground over to short. The outs made on the lead runner. Hayes at third. So that's the first out of the inning. Things tied at 2-2. Two, two. Runner's still at first and second, and it'll be a fielder's choice on Sturgis. Called strike one. Turns the bunt, couldn't get the bunt down in time. Oh. What the heck? The camera keeps doing this where it keeps cutting out. I'm going to try to adjust the cord here, but y'all can listen to Cooper's beautiful voice in the meantime. <laughs> 0 0-2 count. Inside corner called strike three. And Matthews is rung up. Just That'll bring Riley Boyce to the plate. Five-hole hitter for Galena. Swinging first pitch on the ground over to second. Gobbled up. Thrown out. Second baseman's made some pretty nice plays today. Not a place you want to hit it. The damage is done. 2-2. Two, two. We're all tied up headed to the top of the sixth inning when we return. Looking for a pharmacy that truly cares? Look no further than Four States Pharmacy, your hometown pharmacy in Galena, locally owned and rooted in our community. Four States Pharmacy is the place to go for those needed vaccinations. Plus, check out their large selection of everything you need to keep your family happy and healthy. Take advantage of their convenient drive through or local delivery with Four States Smart Car. For seniors, Four States Pharmacy offers free Medicare Part D consultations. Four State Pharmacy, where your health and community come together in Galena. Check us out online at fourstatespharmacy.com. Hello, Four States. This is Jay Hatfield with Jay Hatfield Motorsports. 
We have been serving the four states area with motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides, plus offering you parts and service since 2005. We have two convenient locations, Pittsburgh and Joplin, selling quality brands such as Polaris, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Can-Am, and Suzuki. Jay Hatfield has a huge inventory available for immediate delivery. We offer financing options and an extensive selection of accessories. Most important, we're making deals. Come in and get your phone started today at Jay Hatfield Motorsports in Pittsburgh or Joplin. So welcome back. Tie ball game, top of the sixth inning. Galena able to scratch across to run each of the last two innings on the ground over to shortstop, fielded and cleanly and thrown out by Morgan Strong. Is Schultz retired? So I'll bring up Powell and then Herring. Powell's swinging in the air. It'll stay on the infield. Strong takes charge, makes out number two. Strong's been all over the infield making plays. Now Herring will. Step into the box from the right side. Swinging over the second base. Sturgis head and in the right center field for a single. So now... Reed into the box. First pitch is high. That one inside corner called strike one on number one. Swing and a miss. Hayes thought it was strike three, but it's just a one and two count with two outs. Herring on first base. Swing and a miss. Out number three. As Matthew strikes out Reed. Galena take a 2-2 tie ball game into the bottom of the sixth. Try and scratch across the run when we return. So, bottom of the sixth inning, last bottom of the fourth and fifth, Glenn has been able to score a run. See if they can do the same here and get some insurance runs. In this inning, they'll bring up Kayla Matthews, Marley Shoemaker, and Peyton Webster. Hall still in the game. Swing, and that ball... Drop it on the right field line. Ball's bobbled, but Matthews will stand up on first base for a, a leadoff single. I'll bring up Marley Shoemaker, who's at a sack bunt and a fielder's choice. Wouldn't be surprised to see a bunt here. Or just. That one's popped up. I got it right towards us. Out or no outs. 0 1 count. Matthews on first. Called strike two on the inside corner. Now Shoemaker. Had to find a way to advance the runner 
get on base with two outs or two strikes, I should say. Spoils that pitch. Foul. I will nearly hit Shoemaker, but Matthews looked like she was going to advance and thought Shoemaker got hit on the pitch, but either way, she should be just running. It shouldn't matter. So that's a missed opportunity for Galena. Swing, and that will be a double play. So, two outs recorded. Some bad base running by Galena. Shoemaker lined out to the pitcher and Peyton Webster up to the plate. First pitch swinging. That ball drop in center field. Webster will have her first hit of the game. They'll bring Mar Morgan Strong to the plate. She's had two walks to this to this point in the game. Swings at the first pitch in the air. Right field comes on and makes the play for out number three. So the Bulldogs, after a leadoff hit, come away with nothing. We head to the top of the seventh inning. Tied at 2 2. Mercy Specialty Hospital in Southeast Kansas is an innovative healing environment for surgery, specialty care, physical therapy, imaging, and wellness programs. With all private rooms and spa-like surroundings, they offer a patient-centered experience like no other. Next door is Mercy Clinic Orthopedics that focuses on eliminating the discomfort caused by injuries and disorders of the bone, spine, and joints. You'll be treated at their full-service facility with state-of-the-art equipment. Both are centrally located in Galena, Kansas, near downtown Joplin to serve the four States area. Learn more at mercy.net. So, top of the seventh inning now. Kalina looking for get out of this inning cleanly and then go into the home half and get a run and win this first game. Had a chance last inning getting the leadoff runner aboard. Some base running errors and kind of ran themselves out of that inning. So this inning for Uniontown, it'll be Schoenberger, Gorman, Shepard. So Schoenberger, the nine hole, then line up a roll over. Just swinging at that one. One one count. Swings at that. It'll be a foul ball. That one high for ball two. Things are even at 2-2. Two, two. Back to the pitcher. Matthews fields it. Fires it across cleanly for out number one. Good start to this inning. So now Gorman comes to the plate. For the fourth time tonight, a pair of flyouts and then a walk to her name thus far. First pitch taken high for ball one. Mm -hmm. 
ball up and in. That one mistakenly fouled away. Three one count. Swung at and fouled. Counts full. There's ball four, so Gorman draws her second walk of the night. I'll draw a mound visit from Coach Meyer. And a pitching change. Morgan Strong will replace Michaela Matthews after a strong outing. Throwing six and a third innings, two runs allowed. Kayla Matthews will go to second base, and Arista Sturgis will play shortstop. Not sure on the score up there on the baseball diamond. Saw a nice play up there, though. Been kind of watching that ball hit on the ground to strong. Throw over to first, out number two. Runner in scoring position. Seen quite a bit of ground outs to the pitcher tonight. Not a good day for ball doesn't travel well in cold environments, but it's a lot of soft contact, and that speaks to the pitching. And there, Uniontown steals third base, turning the bunt, and nobody home to cover third. Two outs stock the batter, taken for ball one. Counts even at 1-1. One, one. That one high for ball two. Fouled away, out of play. Galena has a chance to get out of this inning and go in the dugout and score some runs. Drop third strike and thrown out at first base to end the inning. Kalina holds the strands the runner at third base. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Kalina needs one. Secure the victory. We'll see if they can do it after.
Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to embark on a mouth-watering journey down the legendary Route 66? Look no further than Bricks and Brews, Woodfire Grill and Pub in the heart of Baxter Springs, Kansas. Start your culinary adventure with their delicious wood-fired pizzas. Keep it rolling with their classic appetizers and crisp salads. Plus, don't miss live music and so much more. Take a detour from the ordinary and head to Bricks and Brews in Baxter Springs. A taste bud trip down Route 66. So we made it to the end of the road here, seventh inning, and Kalina needs one. We'll bring up Hayes, Meyer, Sturgis, top of the lineup. Unsure of the extra inning rules here. I think you play extra innings until somebody wins, but you should never know. The only thing, the only reason I think they might not is just because it's a doubleheader. Yeah. I but, know when I was in high school, it was, was playing baseball, but we played extra innings for a doubleheader. So, okay, well, there's always different rules each year, so they always change. And hopefully, we don't have to get to that point, and Galena can secure the victory here. Hall comes out for seventh inning to pitch for Uniontown. Hayes up two one in the count. That one swung on, and out number one's recorded on a fly out to first base. So Riley Meyer, last at bat, hit a single in the right center field. Swings at this one up in the air. Shortstop makes the play. That'll bring up Arista Sturgis, so two outs. See if Glennon gets something started here. Swings through the first pitch. Roll over ground ball to shortstop. Gorman fires it across, gets passed, and quick recovery. By the first baseman, Shepard, to hold Sturgis at first base. Now that'll bring Michaela Matthews to the plate. Probably going to see a steal here. Yep, running, the throw in time and out. Nice dig by the shortstop Gorman. Runner thrown out at second base. And we'll head to extra innings here. Top of the eighth after. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to embark on a mouth-watering journey down the legendary Route 66? Look no further than Bricks and Brews, Woodfire Grill and Pub in the heart of Baxter Springs, Kansas. Start your culinary adventure with their delicious wood-fired pizzas. Keep it rolling with their classic appetizers and crisp salads. Plus, don't miss live music and so much more. Take a detour from the ordinary and head to Bricks and Brews in Baxter Springs. A taste bud trip down Route 66. Looking for a pharmacy that truly cares? Look no further than Four States Pharmacy, your hometown pharmacy in Galena, locally owned and rooted in our community. Four States Pharmacy is the place to go for those needed vaccinations. Plus, check out their large selection of everything you need to keep your family happy and healthy. Take advantage of their convenient drive through or local delivery with Four States Smart Car. For seniors, Four States Pharmacy offers free Medicare Part D consultations. Four State Pharmacy, where your health and community come together in Galena. Check us out online at fourstatespharmacy.com. So top of the eighth inning, have extra innings, and doesn't look like we'll have the California rule to start somebody on second and one out. That's a thing? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, did you ever do it? I've done it. I've done it multiple times. I just don't remember it being in high school. I can't remember it. It varies based on it's all high school, together. and it even varies based on the tournament. Just, just like run rules. Roll over ground ball to first base. Meyer able to make that play for out number one of the eighth inning. Quiet out number one. Brings Schultz up to the up to bat. Pitch swung on and missed. 0-2. Oh, Strong's come in and filled up the strike zone. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Strong records a strikeout as we have two outs in the top of the eighth inning making quick work of the Eagles. Brings Powell to the plate. Kyle takes ball one. It's been a quick game. We're even in extra innings. We started a little bit late, but we've only been playing for about an hour and 20 minutes. Whether it feels like it or not, it might just be the cold. It'd be a lot nicer to be sitting at home watching this game on the TV, but we enjoy bringing it to you guys live here. We'll have some more broadcasts next week. I believe Monday we'll be um, covering the baseball team taking on Riverton. And then Thursday we'll be covering the softball team taking on Frontenac here. So full slate of games next week. Oh, my. Cole knocking the camera over almost. That one's fouled away. One, two count. Schultz is... Spoiled some pitches, or I should say Powell. That one fouled back. Powell staying alive. Another foul ball. Strong really filling up this zone. Called strike three on the inside corner. Sends us to the bottom of the eighth inning. Galena needs one when we return. vision of becoming the four state agency was because we want to be able to grow with our clients, whether they have a lake house in Oklahoma, whether they're starting a business and expanding into Arkansas. We want to make sure that they're taken care of, whether it's home, auto, financial services, or even life insurance. We want to walk through the stages of life with our clients. That's the biggest part. That's what makes us different. So welcome back as we're in the bottom of the eighth inning now. Low scoring game, pitcher's duel. Kayla Matthews started for Galena and was relieved after six and a third innings by Morgan Strong. Hall has pitched full seven innings coming out for eighth inning for Uniontown. Lane will bring up Weston Russell, Riley Boyce, and Michaela Matthews this inning. Swinging at that one. Way foul. Ball 
Ball low and away. Work the count to 2 1. Galena has held Uniontown scoreless since that fourth inning where Galena scored their first run. Now they look to walk things off here. Got to get some base runners aboard. The count goes full. Fouls that one off. Stays alive. That one swung on. Foul again. Russell way out in front. Russell swings through, strikes out, out number one. So Russell's retired. Bring Riley Boyce to the plate. Swings at that one on the ground, bobbled by Gorman, and Riley Boyce will be safe. Got some raindrops in our camera. Trying to clean it off. There you go. Good job, Cole. Turn to bunt. Throw to second. Not in time. Riley Boyce slides into second safely. Just need something on the ground into the outfield. So Matthews swings at that one and misses. Surprised the, the outfield for Uniontown isn't in even further. They got to cut off any runs at the plate. Once again, there's a big gap up the middle. Bunt goes down the first baseline and rolls foul. One two count. Hits that one on the ground over to shortstop and holds the throw, so runners will be at first and second. <clears throat> Galeno bring up Marley Shoemaker. One out, this is a good opportunity for Galena. First pitch fouled away, straight back. Tries to get the bunt down, can't do so. So now there will be two strikes on Shoemaker. Shoemaker swings through and misses. Play at third. Not in time. That will be two outs, runners on first and third.
Peyton Webster steps into the box. Galena left fielder. That one high. That one low, 2 0 count. Hitters count. Got to bring something to Webster that she really likes here. Being selective. That one high, 3 0 count. Play at home, and she's out. And so that'll end the inning, bottom of the eighth. Had a little bit of a collision at home, but we'll head to the top of the ninth inning after this. Hello, Four States. This is Jay Hatfield with Jay Hatfield Motorsports. We have been serving the Four States area with motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides, plus offering you parts and service since 2005. We have two convenient locations, Pittsburgh and Java, selling quality brands such as Polaris, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Can-Am, and Suzuki. Jay Hatfield has a huge inventory available for immediate delivery. We offer financing options and an extensive selection of accessories. Most important, we're making deals. Come in and get your phone started today at Jay Hatfield Motorsports in Pittsburgh or Joplin. For more than 20 years, Gherkin Rental has been the place to go to get the job done in eastern Kansas and western Missouri. With a huge selection of quality equipment, from roll-offs to trailers, telehandlers to generators, power washers to popcorn makers, experienced equipment professionals, and clean, well-maintained tools to help you get the job done right the first time. Gherkin Rental. Stop by any of their 13 locations across the KC Metro or call 855-GHERKINS. That's 855-437-5367. Looking for a pharmacy that truly cares? Look no further than Four States Pharmacy, your hometown pharmacy in Galena. Locally owned and rooted in our community, Four States Pharmacy is the place to go for those needed vaccinations. Plus, check out their large selection of everything you need to keep your family happy and healthy. Take advantage of their convenient drive through or local delivery with Four States Smart Car. For seniors, Four States Pharmacy offers free Medicare Part D consultations. Four State Pharmacy, where your health and community come together in Galena. Check us out online at fourstatespharmacy.com. So top of the ninth inning, we're playing a full major league game today. Has been a low scoring game. And uh, gotten to the top of the ninth inning. Played nine innings of softball in like an hour and a half. Don't need no pitch clock. <laughs> no, you do not, Cooper. You just need good defense and good pitching. So it's got us to this point. Yeah. Not sure what fully happened on that last play. It was three zero, and you could hear Coach Meyer verbally say, "Don't swing," and then um, Peyton Webster bunted it. And for some reason, the pitcher, first of all, was coming home. All she had to do was throw it first and get the out. And they could have lost the game on that if there was any kind of mishandling on the exchange. But ultimately, they got the out. And uh, Riley Boyce was shaken up on the play, so uh, she was taken out of the game. I'm not sure who was subbed in. Five for nine. I'm not sure who five is. I so can't Dakota see Bennett was subbed in for Riley Boyce. And it's kind of hard to see. You can't really see numbers in the outfield. I can see Peyton Webster's in right field. That one. Fair ball. Throw down to first in time. Out number one recorded. The defense continues.
So I believe it's Marley Shoemaker in center field. Yeah. So a pinch hitter for Uniontown, Wolf will take the place of Reed in the eight hole. See the lights starting to come on. Ball one is low. Now that's a little bit better on the camera. Easier to see. Swing and a miss. 1-1 one, one count. One out in the top of the ninth. Fouled away. That one hits softly, and it'll drop just inside fair territory. Shallow right field. Now the runner will get all the way to second. And Union Town will have a runner on second with one gone. Schoenberger will come to, the, come to bat in the ninth inning. A little bit of raindrops starting to come down. Getting our camera. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One, one. The count. Schoenberger working the count, being selective. And after this, the Eagle lineup will roll back over to the top, swinging at that one that was way high. That one hit on the ground. Strong goes over to make the play. The outs recorded at first. The runner advances to third. So... Eagles have a runner in scoring position at third base as shortstop Gorman will come to bat in the ninth inning. Gorman has two walks and two flyouts tonight. Pitch called strike one. Inside corner. <laughs> Hit on the ground and through the hole. And it'll be a RBI single here in the away half of the ninth. Uniontown gets a run.
Shepard now at the plate, two hole hitter for Uniontown. Swing and that one's hit foul. That one gets away from Hayes. That'll put Gorman in scoring position. Low and in. 2-1 count. Shepard swings through that pitch. Counts even at 2-2. Two, two, two outs, runner on second. Ball one. Line drive to second, caught in the air, out number three. Uniontown has dealt the damage. We'll see if Galena can respond here in the home half of the ninth when we return. Mercy Specialty Hospital in Southeast Kansas is an innovative healing environment for surgery, specialty care, physical therapy, imaging, and wellness programs. With all private rooms and spa-like surroundings, they offer a patient-centered experience like no other. Next door is Mercy Clinic Orthopedics that focuses on eliminating the discomfort caused by injuries and disorders of the bones, spine, and joints. You'll be treated at their full-service facility with state-of-the-art equipment. Both are centrally located in Galena, Kansas, near downtown Joplin to serve the four States area. Learn more at mercy.net. So bottom of the ninth, Union Town scratched across to run. Now Galena will try and answer back. We'll bring up Strong, Hayes, Meyer this inning in that order. Rain's starting to come down here. Not very good for our equipment. Conclusion of this game will wrap up. We can't sit out here any longer with this rain starting to come down, getting on our camera and all these outlets and stuff. We had covered shelter wouldn't be an issue, but we don't need any of this equipment getting messed up. So we'll see. Hopefully Galena can score two runs here and get a come from behind victory. Strong takes that. Ball three. Three out of the count. All four, Strong's third walk of the game. That'll bring up Haley Hayes, Galena catcher. That one swung on, driven up the middle. Base hit gets away from the center fielder. Hayes trying to get to second and in there safely. And Galena is in business. Runners on second and third.
Now a mound visit for Coach Hathaway, head coach of Uniontown. Go out and talk to his pitcher. See if he keeps Hall in the game. But Uniontown has to cut off that runner on second. Rain's really starting to come down now. So, yeah, we'll have to uh, pack this equipment up. Hopefully, Galena gets a walk-off here and uh, can salvage some of this equipment from getting drenched. They're going to intentionally walk Riley Myers. So, they're going to load the bases up. That'll bring Arista Sturgis to the plate. Rain coming down. The infield will be, well, they'll bring the outfield in. So really anything you hit hard in the air to the outfield will get down and win the game for Galena. Hall's pitch a solid nine innings called strike one. All the infielders are gunning for home to, Record the outs. That one low. Swing and a miss. One, two count. Cold and rainy. We'll see who can prevail here. Pitch up and in. Called ball. 2-2 two, two count. So can't afford a strikeout here. You want to put something hard in play. Make Uniontown make a play on it. That one's swing and a miss. There's no drop third strike. First base is occupied with less than two outs. It's automatic out. On drop third. So Wes and Russell come to the plate now. That one in the dirt. Kept in front of the catcher's stock. Called strike one. When rain starting to pick up out here, getting colder by the minute. That one's swung on and fouled off. One two count. So this whole jam started. Runners on second and third, no outs. Intentionally walked Meyer. Sturgis struck out. Now Russell down 1-2 in the counts. Ball up and in. Counts even at 2-2. Two, two. Drive something hard up the middle and got a good chance to score two runs if Hayes can get a good secondary on second. That one way up. Counts full. Something's got to give here, Cole. Yeah, Cooper, no matter what here, either another out or potentially a run, and Galena could bring it home. That one low for ball four. That'll tie the tie the game up here. 3-3. Three, three. Oh, wrong score. Oh, oh. So sorry, we had to put the, the camera away. We got things tied up here. 
can't even click buttons, but it's tied up 3-3, three, three, one out, bases loaded. Runner squares, and now we're going to have a rundown. Hayes in a rundown, tagged out. And now we got two outs. Runners on first and second. And tied up at 3-3 here in the bottom of the ninth. See if Riley Boyce can walk it off. That one up and in. 2 1. Swing and foul ball. Counts even at 2 2. That one on the ground gets away. Runner advance. Haven't seen too many pass balls in a small backstop we have here. Counts full. Hit up the middle and drops in the center field for walk off. Base hit, Riley Boyce drives it right back where it came from. Galena walks it off 4-3 to three to get the victory in nine innings as the Bulldogs come out victorious in a rainy, windy, cold finish of game one. And with this rain, it's uh, given us a bunch of issues to uh, our equipment. So we're going to go ahead and pack this stuff up and uh, get out of here because we can't afford to have our gear sitting out. So thank you for tuning in here and we'll be broadcasting next Monday live against Riverton where your baseball team will play a doubleheader against the Rams.